Hey y'all, hobby mommy in here doing something else. So I'm about to make some meatloaf. Meatloaf, the way normal people make it. So if you know what movie that's from, write it in the comments. Everybody except one of my subscribers named Catherine Rayford. You can't comment. <laughs> All right, so you know this is a Walmart meatloaf. Breadcrumbs. Can't make a meatloaf without breadcrumbs. Up full first. Then I'll get the cutting board. So, I'm making meatloaf the way normal people make it. So, normal people don't follow a recipe all the time. So, I don't have a recipe. But I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm cut this in half. This was a five pound thing of meat. So I cut it in half. So there's 2.5 pounds pieces of meat. Oh, you don't need no whole bunch of salt because we're using tenderizer. Tenderizer is salty. Put the tenderizer in on it first. That should be enough. So that was about two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of tenderizer. A tablespoon, so we're just going to use that for our measurements from now on. So the tenderizer we said was two teaspoons. The marinade we're going to say is one, two, three, four tablespoons of Lee and Perrin's garlic balsamic marinade. You can get this for $1.99 at Ollie's. If you live in Georgia, a tablespoon of turmeric, 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 turmeric. I don't think I got a tablespoon in the birth in here. All right, so we just going to get uh, about a quarter teaspoon because it ain't no turmeric in here. It looked like it's some in here, but it ain't. Then ground cloves. Look at all that. Tablespoon of ground cloves. Paprika. Tablespoon paprika. Put that in there. Put that to the side. Garlic pepper seasoning. I'm going to try to open this and get it out of here the quicker way. If I can. Like it has some type of moisture in here at one point. Because they kind of rocky and crunchy in there. Alright. Garlic pepper. Bam. Bam. Put that to the side. And you got celery seed. A tablespoon of that. Oh, oh that smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. I love that smell. I love nutty, earthy smells. Then you got um fajita seasoning. Probably gonna do two tablespoons of this. One. Fajita. Then, um, what else we got out here? Cumin. So cumin. One tablespoon of cumin. There we go. So then, um, I want to sit this to the side and cut up some green onions and bell peppers. So, some green onions. One, two, three. I'm counting the roots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven roots of green onions. These was organic from Walmart. Put that to the side. Let's rinse these off. And cut these. Alright. Okay, and then when you get down to here, you stick these in some water and then your green onions will regrow. So 
them sit in there and then I'll put them in another jar later. That's just temporary. So we got all these green onions. We're gonna put these green onions in here. Green onions. It's gonna be a lot of green inside of the meatloaf. Cause we got green onions, we got green bell peppers. Probably should have got yellow bell peppers. But I, I like the green ones and the red ones the most. So, um, the red ones just cost so much, you know, and I love saving money. I'm not cheap. I don't want the cheapest product, but I'll get the middle product or the product that's on sale. people make it <laughs> meatloaf you need green peppers green peppers in your meatloaf here bow just throw them in, out the window i'm giving y'all more clues y'all y'all gonna know what movie that's from yeah this is getting to the size that i want them let's keep going over it with that knife till they get down to the size that you want Size. I think that's enough. All right. Well, let's put this in the bowl. Got more green on top of green, but it's two different flavors. All right. So, um, these are the pimentos. If I could open these joints. Mm, dang. All right. So, back to the good old tablespoon. One tablespoon of pimentos, and let's do another tablespoon of pimentos. I'm about to say tomentos. Mentos, the fresh maker. Then three tablespoons of tomentos. Mm, now I can't even say it right. I done jinxed myself playing around. Um, pomentos. Are they pomentos? Pimentos. 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 Pim e entos. Oh, this is Spanish. Pimentos. Oh, see. Si. <laughs> That's Spanish. I never knew that. All right, so you got that. Then you got, um, what's this stuff called? Um, breadcrumbs. Gotta have breadcrumbs. Shake them in there. That's about. A half a cup. That's about a half a cup. We're going to make sure we're following the recipe here. That's about a half a cup. So we're going to put another half cup. That should be enough. We'll mix it all up together and see if it's enough. If it's not, then we'll add another half cup. So one more thing, right? Two more things. Black olives. Need a can opener for that. Need a can opener for the black olives. I like this flavor. Like when I used to deliver pizzas, I would always try to keep a pizza for myself that had uh, black olives on it. Black olives. Um, I'm going to drain this juice off through my fingers. Black olives. What was my other favorite topping? Pineapples. I love pineapples. I love sausage. Pepperoni. We're gonna follow the recipe. We're gonna make a recipe. So this how much is this? This is a cup of black olives. One cup. So I want to cut these a little bit smaller. They just look too big and chunky. So I'm gonna just cut them a little bit. Move this back over. It's so easy to cut. I love that feeling. The knife just going through all nice and smooth like that. I like that. Let me taste one of these. Because this one looked like they had never even cut it at the factory. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love that olive. Mmm, it's good. 
do it. All right, that should be cut up enough. Get those in the bowl. Get the bowl into the view. Black olives. Yes, baby. One cup of chopped black olives. And then we need an egg. I know I had an egg over here. Here we go. Need an egg. I'm going to beat my egg in a separate bowl because... I want to make sure I don't get no shells inside of the um, meatloaf. So if I crack it and the shell goes in, I'll see it in this clear bowl. But it could be any color bowl as long as it's something separate. What is that? That is a part of the mucous membrane. Membrane. Because these eggs, they already got their brains and everything all inside the shell. So you got the membrane, the yolk, and the whites. So beat that up. I got to add some type of seasoning to my egg. I just can't put no egg in there with no salt in it. Let me get that little thing of salt. Get that little thing. Just a little pinch of salt. I saw something in there that I don't know if it should be in there. What was that? I saw something. What is that? Oh, that's a piece of olive. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to dump that in there. Dump that egg in there. Put this back in the water. Let it rinse. And I want some fresh oregano from Walmart. Fresh oregano. So we're just going to take this and just run my fingers down to break these leaves right off into it. So that's one stem. And that's how we're going to do the recipe. One stem. So that's two stems. There's three stems. Four stems. Yeah, see these stems is hard. That's poking my finger hard. See how it's making an indent in my finger? You don't want to put that in your meatloaf. You want to break the leaves off. Five stems of oregano. That's what we're using. Five stems of oregano. Isn't that pretty? Woohoo. Yes, God. Now we're going to mix that up with our fingers and I wish I had some rubber gloves because I do not like putting my fingers all into the food when it got egg and stuff in it let me see if I can start off with a spoon I'll start off with a spoon and see how far I can get with that oh I should have had a bigger bowl this a lot of food this a lot of product in here mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, look at this. This is work. This is like 1950s, 1950s cooking, labor. Like I don't have to go to a job after this. After I do all this, I need to go feed the family and then go to bed. My goodness, all this meat. No wonder the fast food companies is billion dollar chains. Because cooking is a lot of work. And I want to eat now. I don't have to go through all this. Even though I like making my own food, I don't want to be making it all day. You know? Oh my God, this is smelling amazing. All these flavors and aromas and smells. Oh, the essence. Oh my God, this smells so good. I would eat this meat raw. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. that smells amazing. 
So now that the egg is mixed in, I'm thinking we're going to need more. Now that I got it halfway mixed in like this, I'm thinking we're going to need more on, um, what's that stuff called? Um, I'm going to use a different thing because this spoon too little. I'm going to use this big spoon. Make sure it's rinse off. Use this big spoon. I think I'm going to add a little bit more breadcrumbs. Oh, this smells so good. So we was up to one cup of breadcrumbs. So now let's see how much more breadcrumbs we're going to add. You know, that meat off my hands. Is this wet on the inside? Yeah. I must have been rinsed it out. Let me dry it out because I don't want the breadcrumbs to stick inside. One cup. So that's two cups of breadcrumbs. Yeah. Anything that spills, I will sweep them out my floor afterwards. I think I need another egg. Cause the meatloaf supposed to be like it's supposed to be like crumbly when you um bite into it with the fork. When you cut into it with your fork. This is it just smells amazing. Like I just want to eat this right now. I'm going to add another ingredient. I'm going to add some of that Worcestershire sauce. Because that's what I want to taste. Mm, 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 mm. I love this smell. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 Well, I'm going to just say Worcestershire. Because I don't want to say all them syllables. Because it just sounds stupid. Like... Worcestershire sauce, even if that sounds stupid, that's all I'm saying. I'm not going to say the whole consonants and syllables of the entire alphabet. Just to add, what was that, two, three, four? This is almost like a soy sauce to me. That's about five tablespoons. But we'll watch the video over and check, see how many I put in there. Worcestershire. Mm, 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 mm. Gotta beat it up. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Get back in there. Oh my god, this smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. That Worcestershire gave it an extra kick. You know what we're missing? We're missing some black pepper. You gotta get a black pepper. Now, the black pepper. We're not going to really um, measure that. We're just, we just going to say how much it is. That's about one tablespoon right there. That's about two tablespoons. I'm just basically like folding it over. Grab it from the back and bring it up to the front. Shoot. Make this food dance. Make it drop it like it's hot. Feel ready to me for some reason. Just feel ready. I know my stomach ready. Shoot. Cause this thing got my nose lit. Litty lit. Like, I, oh my God, this smells so good. All right. So now that we got this, now we're going to actually form the loaf. This is a long video. I'm going to do some editing. 30 minutes to cook this? And it ain't even cooked yet? I'm going to make this in the, um, the Emerald's air fryer. Make this in here. Put in this basket. We're going to put it right in this tray. Okay. Right here. I'm going to put this in here. Yeah. Right there. Where is the... We want to bake it or air fry it? Let's roast it. Roast. Let it preheat. All right, so that's preheating. So I'm going to make the actual loaf 
on this pen on top of this paper towel so that if there's any food still on the cutting board it won't get so now get this meat out Get into a ball or something. Oh yeah, this ready. This is ready to be me. Look at all that. That's a lot. I ain't never make a meatloaf before. This is my first time ever making one, the way normal people make it. Oh my God, this is so nice. Oh, and it smells so good and it's so colorful. It looks like a fruitcake. Last time I had meatloaf, I think I was at Golden Corral like a year or two ago. And the meatloaf is so good. I should make it a little tiny bit flatter. I just feel like it's too tall. Cause I remember the one at um, Golden Corral. It was long. You sliced it like that. They had already sliced it, but it was like these long slices. So theirs was flat like this. Oh, that's the um, but the oven. So the oven is ready. Let me get all this meat guts off my fingers. Oh, I'm so happy. Look, I did it. <laughs> I'll come back on in 50 minutes. And see if I need to put it back in long. Hey guys, the meatloaf, how it's doing so far. Let's see. Turn the light on. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And it smells so good in this kitchen. Look at that meatloaf. You see it cooking? Mmm. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left. And we're going to test it and see if it's cooked all the way through. I hope it is because I'm ready to eat and I still got to leave out for work by 3 o'clock. I leave out for work by 3 and it's 2.30. So I'm pushing it today. You know, I stayed in here and cooked for an hour and a half. I used up all my time. I get ready for work time. Something's ready in the oven. Something's ready. And I hope you try this at home. And I hope somebody writes down the recipe. Because um, I won't be able to do it till uh, about another 18 hours. Because I'm about to go do a whole shift. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>